सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स द ऑडियो बुक पूर्वी टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ इंग्लिश फॉर ग्रेड सिक्स पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन यूनिट फॉर स्पोर्ट्स एंड वेलनेस चैप्टर टू द विनर लेट एस डू दीज एक्टिविटीज बिफोर वी रीड वन आंसर द क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दिस पिक्चर In this picture, three boys and a girl are playing with each other in a park. A. What are these children doing? B. Where do you think they are? C. What is the time of the day? 2. Discuss the given questions with your classmates and teacher. You may begin your sentences with I go to dash I play with dash The place I go to for playing dash I like playing dash Sometimes I come back dash A When do you go to play after school B Who do you play with C Where do you go to play in the evening D Which games do you like playing E When do you come back home page number 116 let us read evenings we play ball next to the creek in our neighbor's field we run so fast i cannot even catch my breath when blue dark turns to black cold grass aches our feet trees creep close game's over night wins by georgia hurd On the right side of this page there is a picture where kids are playing one girl is sitting on the swing a boy is holding a football and the girl along with him is holding a ring a girl is running and a boy is trying to catch her let us discuss one read these lines from the poem write the meaning of the lines by identifying the words or expressions in them page number 117 there's a box at the top of this page with three headings serial number lines from the poem and meaning serial number 1 next to the creek clue a small body of water 2 i can't even catch my breath clue the child has been running 3 when blue dark turns to black clue the color of the sky changes from blue to black what does it mean for trees creep close clue it is evening time why do you think the trees seem close there are empty boxes in front of each line fill in the blanks 2 read the poem complete the following based on the poem the children play dash in the dash in the neighbors dash they run so dash that they run out of breath they continue to play till the evening when the blue sky turns dash and the trees are not clearly visible they can feel their feet dash now that it is cold finally they stop dash and go home as it is night let us think and reflect one read the given lines and answer the questions that follow a we run so fast i cannot even catch my breath page number 118 one complete the sentence given with correct option The speaker needs to catch her breath because dash fill in the blank A everyone decides to walk B all the friends wish to go home C running fast results in being breathless D they need to do breathing exercises 2 is the speaker alone why do you say so 3 What does the pattern in the lines tell us? 
B. When blue dark turns to black, cold grass aches our feet. Trees creep close. Game's over. Night wins. 1. Give one reason why the grass is cold. 2. Complete the sentence suitably. The children's feet are aching because... Dash. 3. Why does night win? Night wins because the dash. Options A. Time for play has ended. B. Children are tired. C. Time to play at home begins. D. Night follows day. Let us learn. 1. Listen to the information given in the table and see what the poet has done in the poem. The winner. Page number 119. There's a box at the top of this page with three headings. Lines from the poem. What the poet has done. Other examples. I can't even catch my breath. This tells us that the children are really out of breath. The pattern is used to highlight them being out of breath. The leaves are falling, falling, falling. Night winds. The poet has used human qualities for inanimate things. Here, night has been shown as winning. This is called personification. The sun played hide and seek with the clouds. Now, try to write some examples of your own for both. Use your imagination when creating these examples. 2. The poet has talked about a creek in the poem. You now know that creek is a water body. Complete the word web by writing which other water bodies you can think of. Discuss with your teacher. The word water body is highlighted in a circle on this page. Let us listen. Listen to the riddles and write which sport is being referred to in the table now. Riddle Sport Column 1, 2, 3, 4 There are empty spaces below column number 1, 2, 3 and 4. Page number 120 Riddle 1 Run and pass, run and pass. Kick a black and white ball. Kick it straight into the goal. Watch for mud. Don't fall. What sport am I? Riddle 2 Hold your breath. Say hu tu tu till you touch one or two. Take care to keep a distance wide as you run back to your team's side. Which sport am I? Riddle 3. In the water, hold your breath. The water is very cool. Arms turn, legs kick. In the blue pool. Which sport am I? Riddle 4. Breathe in, breathe out. Practice every day, just right. You will be healthy and fit. Get energy and grow in might. What am I? Try to create a riddle about your favourite game or sport or activity. Share your riddles with your classmates. Let's see who all are able to guess it right. Page number 121 Let us speak. Enact the rules of a parent and a child. Situation 1. Coming home late after play. Parent upset or child explaining. Situation 2. Sharing details of the games you played. Child excited or parent asking details with interest. Situation 3. Bring a new friend home after playtime. Child introducing or parent welcoming. Let us write. Write a paragraph about your playtime using the clues given. What time do I go out to play? Who do I play with? What games do we play? 
Which is my favorite game? What do we gain from playing together? When do we finish playing and go home? Now, give a title to your paragraph. Let us explore. There are many indigenous games in India. Kho Kho is an example of an indigenous game. Indigenous games are native to a region. Find out some native games of your state and other parts of India. Learn the rules of one such game and play it with your classmates under the supervision of your teacher. Purvi, you were just listening to this audiobook. Textbook of English for grade 6. Narration, Babla Kocher and Richa Sayal. Technical coordination, Bati Lang Lingdo. Sound recordist, Manju Kumari. Assistance in production, Soumya Malik. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.